Welcome back to Star City News Live at 5. Senior International Officer for Academic Affairs David Wilson released a statement today that missing professor Wei Zing Li has contacted his family and will be returning to the United States as soon as arrangements can be made. Li has been missing since early June while leading a study abroad trip in China. Starting this week, Nebraskans on unemployment are expected to lose some of their extended benefits. Extended benefits allowed unemployment workers to collect as much as 53 extra weeks of compensation. The Extended Benefits Act went into effect summer of 2008, but are set to expire the end of this year. The wildfires in northwest Nebraska have been calmed. Firefighting crews from Shadron, Gordon, and other small communities have been sent home. The blaze has taken an estimated 5,000 acres in Sioux County. No damages or injuries have been reported. The new president of the Iowa-Nebraska National Association for the Advancement of Colored People accepts the board's support for same-sex marriage. New President Arnold Woods has taken over for Reverend Keith Ratliff after he stepped down from the position because of his disagreement of the national board's endorsement. The Legislator's Health and Human Services Committee has chosen Julie Rogers for a new position of Inspector General of Nebraska Child Welfare. Rogers will have jurisdiction to investigate state and private agencies that serve children as part of the child welfare system. A group of fast-moving high-flying racers are tearing up a track in Northwest Lincoln. Star City's Justin Van Osteren has the story. Don't worry, cars haven't mysteriously shrunken overnight. These are the remote-controlled cars driven by the Midwest Racing Organization in Lincoln. This group of racers has been gathering at the Hobbytown Speedway at First and Cornhusker on Thursday nights for almost a year. While there are both asphalt and dirt tracks there, these racers stick to the dirt with 10 and 8 scale trucks. The cars are a lot like the ones that we drive every day, except that they are powered by electric motors. With modification, these cars are capable of hitting some pretty massive speeds, and their durability allows them to handle the huge jumps. Basically, this is powered by a, a single electric motor and a, a lithium polymer battery, so it's, um, it's pretty quick. This thing can get up to about 40 miles an hour. Racers use advanced controllers that are able to modify the power bands of the cars as well as distribute the torque between the front and rear wheels on the four-wheel drive models. It may sound complicated, but the kids are eager to get on the action as well. As you can see here, day has turned into night, but these racers are not stopping. It's actually about 11.15 right now, and we're finally finishing up with our last round. And there, there was a flying truck. Oh, also got eight. A lot of us that all race together and travel together um, are kind of the ones that got this track going back to where it was. We can get the we all come out during the week and you know rake it, pull weeds, you know fill in holes, whatever we got to do. You know we're very meticulous on wanting to have a good racetrack here in Lincoln. For Star City News, I'm Justin Van Ostrom. Thank you, Justin, for that report. Later this month, you might receive a severe weather alert in the form of a text message. On June 27th, the National Weather Service will begin sending emergency alerts to wireless devices. The new notification system is known as Wireless Emergency Alert. It's another hot and muggy day out there, Mary. It sure is. Hopefully we can finally get a break from this. Nargis Atai has a look at your forecast. Nargis? Thanks, Taylor and Mary. Okay, let's look at the sky cam right now. As you can see, it's pretty cloudy out now. But right now, if we look at temperatures, you can see that it is 81, but the humidity is 80%, which makes it feel a lot hotter outside. If we look at tonight, you'll see that it's going to drop down to the mid-60s. We have a 30% of participation, so be expecting some showers later tonight. All right, let's move on to the regional map, you can see that in Grand Island it is 68, down in Hastings 67, down over here in Lincoln and Omaha it's going to be 83, 82, and then Beatrice and Fall City is going to be mid and upper 80s. 
So if we move on to the nationals, you see that it is cooler down here on the west coast. You see 50s and 60s, lower 70s down south. Back here in the Midwest, we're going to keep it high at 80s, 89s. If we look at the seven-day forecast, you'll see that tonight, 85 is going to be our high. But good news for the rest of the week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, we're going to be expecting a lot of sunshine and then partly cloudy towards the end of the week. Um, that's it for our weather forecast. Back to you, Taylor and Mary. Thanks, Nargis. You're watching Star City News live at 5. And don't go anywhere. Coming up next, Megan Mandel gives us a sports update. The Miami Heat are one win away from claiming the NBA championship. Keep it here. Watching Star City News on Channel 21, live at 5. Every little girl just wants to be beautiful, but the images they are shown are unrealistic. They need someone to turn to for advice and encouragement. That's why the Big Brothers Big Sister program provides a positive relationship that can better a child's life forever. Be a big brother or a big sister today and be a positive role model that every child needs. The Sheldon Museum of Art featuring more than 12,000 works of art is free to the public. Located on the city campus of the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, the Sheldon has many photographs, sculptures, and paintings, including works by George O'Keefe, Edward Hopper, and Andy Warhol. The Sheldon also offers tours to the public and hosts many special events. For more information, call the Sheldon Museum of Art at 472-2461 or visit their website at sheldonartmuseum.org. The next time your child decides to become Picasso and use your wall as a canvas, take a deep breath. Sign up for classes at the Lux Center for the Arts. With providing materials and art teachers, she can work alongside aspiring Monets and Warhols and leave your walls the way they are. Enroll your child in classes at the Lux Center for the Arts. What does it mean to be environmental? Is it buying a hybrid car? Is it using recycled bags? Is it a bumper sticker? If you're looking to make a real difference, one of the best places to turn is your own backyard. Trees help keep our environment clean. Visit arborday.org to find out more information on planting trees in your community. What's up, sports fans? Here's what's going on in the sports world today. LeBron James is only four quarters away from finally getting that coveted championship ring. The Heat took on the Thunder in Game 4 last night, and although Thunder point guard Russell Westbrook had an astonishing 43 points, it wasn't enough to hold back LeBron and the boys. LeBron had 26 points on the night, but left the game with 2.51 remaining with severe leg cramps. Luckily, Mario Chalmers stepped in and laid down 25 points to cover, and the Heat won 104-98. The excitement continues in Game 5 tomorrow night at 8 on ABC. Moving on now to the Men's College World Series, and then there were five. Arizona, Florida State, Kent State, Arkansas, and South Carolina are the only teams remaining. Cinderella team Stony Brook was eliminated earlier in the week, and Florida State ended UCLA's championship dreams last night. Tonight is Game 10 with South Carolina and Kent State playing at 7. Tampa Bay Rays relief pitcher Joel Peralta was ejected from last night's game after the Washington Nationals manager Davey Johnson asked an umpire to check his glove. Peralta's glove carried a significant amount of pine tar in it, which is considered a foreign substance. Peralta had this to say about the ejection. Did you tip your cap towards their dugout after? Yeah, I did. To their dugout? Yeah. You know, good for them. They still lose the game, so. Although pine tar is mainly used to give the ball more of a Grip in colder weather, the MLB official rule book prohibits any foreign substance applied to any equipment. The rules require a 10-game suspension for any substance violations. 
In Euro 2012 news, the English government has decided to boycott the upcoming game between England and Italy. British officials have steered clear of most of the games in the Ukraine in protest of the jailing of former Prime Minister Yulia Tymoshenko. In 2010, she was sentenced to seven years in prison after she was found guilty of abuse in office. The England-Italy match will take place this Sunday in Kiev. The biggest names in swimming are heading to Omaha this weekend for the 2012 Olympic swim trials. Michael Phelps announced earlier that he wouldn't be participating in the 400-meter individual medley, which is his signature event. But he changed his mind, and he is set to swim in that and seven other events this coming week. And he isn't the only one to watch out for. Six-time Olympic medalist Ryan Lochte is entered in 11 events and is hoping to add to his collection as well as he and Phelps qualify for the 2012 London Games. That's a look at today's sports headlines. I'm Megan Mandel. Back to you, Taylor and Mary. Thanks, Megan. You're watching Star City News live at 5. And don't go anywhere. Coming up, we'll figure out what Alec Baldwin is up to now. Stay You're around. watching Star City News on Channel 21, live at 5. More than 700,000 people in the United States have been trafficked. More than 2,000 people have been trafficked within Nebraska, including our city, Lincoln. Nebraska Family Council is fighting to stop this injustice. You can help also by educating yourself and others. For more information, visit nebfc.org. Nebraska Family Council, standing for justice and families since 1988. Looking for that heavy metal fix? 90.3 KRNU specialty show Heresy will have what you are looking for. Heresy plays metal that's loud and proud. Anything from hardcore to heavy metal and black metal to death metal, Heresy will play it for you. If you want metal that's loud and proud, join Duff and Johnny for your heavy metal fix every Tuesday from 9 to midnight. It's here to see on 90.3 KRNU. survivors survive. Call 1-800-MAD-HELP. Tips for going green at home. Keep your thermostat set at the highest comfortable temperature in summer. Bicycling can save on gas and lowers emissions. Use Energy Star appliances and only wash clothes on a full load. Unplug chargers from the wall when not in use. And as always, turn off the lights when leaving a room. Stay green. Hello and welcome to Star City Entertainment, your one and only source for the best and most tantalizing Hollywood gossip. First up, everyone brace yourselves, Johnny Depp is single. That's right, the couple that was Johnny Depp and Vanessa Paradis is no more, and my... I mean, your chances of being Johnny Depp's new one and only have just gone through the roof. Whew. In other news, footwear giant Adidas has decided to cancel sales of its new line of shoes called the Shackle Sneakers. Now, apparently, some people thought the shoes brought to mind memories of slavery. I guess I can see it, but I'm more inclined to think Adidas was just trying to make dunking in basketball more interesting. Speaking of basketball... Famed baseball movie actor Kevin Costner is embroiled in a lawsuit involving some trees that are just a little too tall. The actor planted some trees in his backyard whose height violates a 55-year-old contract between the property's previous owners. I personally think Costner was just trying to hide the fact he's building a baseball field in his backyard. You know, after all the flack he got back in Iowa. Finally. Actor Alec Baldwin was accused of punching a photographer after obtaining a marriage license with his fiancée, <coughs> yoga <coughs> instructor, excuse me, uh, Hilaria Thomas. Baldwin obviously denies the allegation. Now, since this is a bit of a serious topic, I've chosen to tell the story in picture book format. One day, a man named Alec Baldwin was traveling by bedsheet to get married. 
The wedding went off without a hitch, and afterwards Mr. Baldwin ran into a photographer. Hello, Mr. Baldwin, said the photographer. Well, hello, Mr. Photographer. I just got married. Isn't that exciting? Um, I guess it's kind of exciting, Mr. Baldwin, said the photographer. Do you think it would be okay if I took your picture? You want to take my picture? said Mr. Baldwin. You want to take my picture? he repeated. No, you may not take my picture! Ah, said the photographer. Oh no, we're cool, bro. Don't worry about it, said Mr. Baldwin. I'm so ashamed I just married this man, said his new wife. The end. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. That's it for your entertainment news. For Star City News, I'm Brandon Yoakum. Thanks, Brandon. I just can't believe that Alec Baldwin. I, I, think, I wonder how accurate that rendition was. I feel like it's pretty spot on. I think so, too. Now here's a look at news around the globe. Jerry Sandusky will not testify in his own defense on the sexual abuse trial. Many thought his testimony could give prosecutors enough information to push forward new evidence against him, such as an unaired segment that Sandusky had with NBC's Bob Costas. Sandusky is on trial for 51 counts related to child sex abuse. Thousands in Egypt came together in Cairo's Tahir Square to see if the rumors were true about the possible death of former President Mubarak. A member of the Supreme Council of the Armed Forces said he is not clinically dead as reported, but his health is deteriorating and he is in critical condition. In Lavaca County, Texas, a grand jury has found a father not guilty after he beat a man to death for allegedly sexually abusing his daughter. The district attorney said sub substantial amount of evidence showed that the witness statements were in fact what had happened on that day. A Pablo Picasso masterpiece was vandalized in Houston, Texas by a man spray painting the piece of art. The act was caught by someone with a smartphone and the video was posted on YouTube. The vandal has not been charged. Northern Ohio police are after an unidentified man who has stolen between $400 and $600 worth of Reese's peanut butter cups from a local gas station. Employees report that a young man dressed in black enters the store after midnight, snatches the candy, and exits the store before the police can be called. You're watching Star City News Live at 5. Next, we will, see, we will check in with Brandon Newbell to see what's trending, and we'll also see which endangered species had a baby. Stay with us. You're watching Star City News on Channel 21, Live at 5. The University Health Center, located on campus at 1500 U Street, offers a wide variety of cares and services. The health center offers extensive aid in the areas of dentistry, physical therapy, and psychology. Also on site is a full radiology department equipped with x-ray and EKG machines. The health center also offers a fully stocked pharmacy for prescription medication. The UNL Health Center is open 8 to 6 Monday through Thursday and 8 to 5 on Friday. The UNL Health Center. The top priority is the student's health. I really wish I had a pet. When looking for a pet, make the Capital Humane Society your first stop. There are a variety of pets to choose from, such as rabbits, cats, dogs, and much more. Pets from the Capital Humane Society are spayed or neutered, receive treatment for fleas, ticks, or mites, receive needed vaccinations and tests to keep the animals healthy, and are microchipped. It's much cheaper to adopt, so go to the Capital Humane Society to find your next best friend. Our hands go through a lot in a day. So keeping them clean will not just benefit you, but also the people around you. It is important to wash your hands periodically through the day, before and after eating, and especially in here. Prevent the spread of infectious diseases by constantly washing your hands with soap and warm water. Your hands will thank you. All across Nebraska, small communities contribute to the well-being of adults and children. Businesses provide jobs at the heart of the community. Lifelong friendships are established. Families are raised and taught values they will carry with them forever. But sometimes even the most thriving communities must look at problems in their own backyard. Hunger affects people in every community. Food Bank of Lincoln can give you the tools you need to make a difference. We already have trucks of food traveling near you. Contact us today to learn how you can help distribute food to families in your area. Hunger happens, but it doesn't have to happen here. Welcome back to Star City News Live at 5. Let's look now to Brandon Ubell to see what's trending. Hello and welcome to the vast and varied 
world that is social media. I'm your host, Brandon Ubell. Let's find out what's trending. Today's top Twitter trend worldwide is hashtag truth is, where people will be sharing their innermost and most heartfelt feelings that they have about things. So, first tweet, at a southern lady says, truth is, cold weather is the worst thing ever. I would agree, but unless you have walked in front of Memorial Stadium in Lincoln, Nebraska, when the wind hip whips you in the face, mid-December, three degrees without the wind chill, you don't know what cold is, southern lady, below the Mason-Dixon line. So don't come to me with your complaints about cold weather. Whew. Sorry, it's good to get off my chest. Moving on to the second tweet of the day, at wow teenagers says that truth is everyone's going to hurt you. You just have to decide who is worth the pain. I couldn't agree more. <clears throat> Same time tomorrow? Yeah. He's a great guy. And our last tweet of the day is at Kaka Fauzi, who says truth is he says, truth is, I hate Justin Bieber. Kaka Fauzi, how dare you? How dare you? I can't believe it. Anyways, moving on to our Facebook picture of the day. Let's take a look at that real quick. Now that is a big potato. And Ron Pence out of Joplin, Missouri comments, it's just a little too much miracle grow. I say nay. There's not enough miracle grow. Need more. There are hungry people out there. We need a bigger potato, and we need more of them. Finally, we're going to get to our viral video of the day from YouTube with over 100 million views. Let's take a look. So, you know, I, I went to the fridge, and I opened up the meat drawer. You know what the meat drawer is, right? Yeah. What was in there? Well, I'll tell you what was in there. You know that bacon that's like maple? It's got maple flavor. The maple kind, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I took that out and I thought, yeah. I know who would like that. Me. So I ate it. Oh, no. You kidding me. Nope. Not kidding. Animal cruelty? Or genius for teaching your dog how to talk? I say genius. Well, that's all the time I have for you today. That is what's trending in social media. You stay trendy, Star City. Brandon, for that special social media update. An endangered species just received a new life. A white rhino was born in a zoo near Tel Aviv. Officials say this is an extremely rare event in captivity, and it's touching. There are fewer than 10,000 white rhinos in the world because they are killed for their horns. Thank you for tuning in to Star City News Live at 5. I'm Mary Thorell. And I'm Taylor Dahl. Have a great evening.